what are masks in photo pair and how do you use them? We will be covering the following. How to create a mask. Basics of a mask. Mask options and gray mask. Destructive versus non-destructive editing. Selections with masks. Adjustment layers. Let's get to it. So, first of all, open up photo pair and add your image. Now that your photo is loaded, it's time to create a mask. There are two methods you can use, so let's explore both of them. 1. Using the Layers panel 2. Through the Layers menu Method 1 involves adding a raster mask using the Layers panel. Locate the Layers panel at the bottom of the interface. At the bottom of the Layers panel, you'll find the raster mask button. Click on it to add the mask to the current layer. Method 2 is done through the layer menu. Locate the layer menu and look for the option labeled raster mask. Within the layer menu, choose either Add Reveal All or Add Hide All from the options provided. Add Reveal All will create a white mask, making everything visible, while Add Hide All will create a black mask hiding everything. Great! Now that we've created a mask, let's understand the basics of how it works. Next, select the brush tool. You can find and select the brush tool in the toolbar or simply press B on your keyboard. It's important to understand how the mask works. When using the mask, painting with black will hide everything and painting with pure white will show everything. You can adjust the brush properties such as hardness and size according to your preference. To change the brush hardness and size, access the brush settings on the options bar. Make sure the brush color is set to black. If it's not black, double click on the color picker and choose the color black. With the black brush, start painting on the image with the mask selected. You'll notice that everything painted black starts to disappear. Now. Let's switch the brush color to white by clicking on the switch icon. With the white brush, paint on the mask. You will see that everything painted with white starts to reappear. It's important to remember that the black color hides or conceals the corresponding areas, while the color white reveals or shows the corresponding areas. Now that we have a good understanding of masks, let's explore some additional options. After creating the mask, you can right-click on the mask in the Layers panel. A context menu will appear with several options. Choose the option to disable the raster mask if you want to temporarily bring everything back to its original state. This is useful if you want to preview the image without the mask's effect. If you decide to remove the mask entirely, select the option to delete the raster mask. Be cautious with this option as it permanently removes the mask and its effect. There is also an option to apply the raster mask, which applies the changes made by the mask permanently to the layer. Only choose this option if you are sure you want the changes to be permanent. If you want to work on the mask later, it's best to leave it as it is. Additionally, you can create a less transparent mask. Click on the mask button to create a mask for the layer. Choose the brush tool from the software's toolbar. Adjust the brush settings such as size and hardness if desired. To create a less transparent mask, paint it with a grey color using the brush tool. As you paint with grey, you will notice that the mask becomes slightly transparent making the underlying content slightly visible. Another method for creating a less transparent mask is using the gradient tool. Create a mask as before using the mask button. Choose the gradient tool from the software's toolbar. Select a gradient that goes from black to white. With the gradient tool selected, draw from left to right on the mask. This will create a mask that transitions from black to white. 
for your convenience, there are a couple of shortcuts you can use. Pressing the Shift key and clicking on the mask temporarily disables it. Pressing the Alt or Option key and clicking on the mask allows you to enter the mask and view its content. Inside the mask, you'll see that the left side is black, representing areas that will completely disappear. The grey pixels in the middle will be less transparent, allowing some visibility of the underlying content. The white pixels on the right side of the gradient will remain unchanged, showing the original content as it is. Quick shameless plug. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and check out our platform on edis101.com. Now, let's talk about the difference between destructive and non-destructive editing when working with masks. If you want to delete an existing mask, simply select it and press the delete key. This will permanently remove the mask and its effects. On the other hand, non-destructive editing using masks allows for greater flexibility. To demonstrate this, let's create a selection on the image using a rectangle select tool. Once you have the selection, press delete to remove the selected areas. In this case, the only way to bring back the deleted areas is through the Ctrl or Command Z key. It's important to note that if multiple functions and changes have been made, undoing the deletion may not be possible. However, with non-destructive editing, Using masks, you can use the mask to hide or reveal portions of the image without permanently altering the underlying layer. Use the mask for non-destructive editing by creating a selection using one of the selection tools. Then, paint a tablet brush on the mask to remove the corresponding area. The area painted with black will disappear. To bring back erased or disappeared areas, ensure the brush tool is selected and the color is set to white. Paint with white using the brush tool to restore the mask area. The key difference between destructive and non-destructive editing is that destructive editing permanently deletes the area, making bringing back the removed parts challenging. Non-destructive editing with masks allows for greater flexibility as you can easily toggle between removing and bringing back the masked areas by using the brush tool with black and white colors. Another way to create a mask is by using the selection tools. Photopia offers three selection tools, the magic wand, quick selection and object selection. Upon selecting one of these tools, you'll notice a new option called select subject on the options bar. This option uses advanced algorithms to automatically generate a selection based on the detected subject in the image. Make sure the desired layer is selected and doesn't already have a layer mask applied. Then, click on the Select Subject button to generate a selection. Once you have the selection, you can create a mask from it by clicking on the Mask button. The mask will keep everything inside the selection and erase everything outside the selection. If the selection isn't perfect or requires adjustments, you can use the brush tool to refine the mask. Adjust the brush size as needed to paint over the desired areas. Painting with white will bring back the selected areas, while painting with black will erase the unwanted areas. You can also fine-tune the brush hardness if you're not achieving the desired results. This can be done by adjusting the brush hardness and the brush settings. By painting with the brush tool, you can bring back areas that should be visible by using white or hide areas that should be hidden by using black. Feel free to paint anywhere on the mask to refine it according to your needs. This process demonstrates non-destructive editing as you are using a mask to hide or reveal portions of the image without permanently altering the underlying layer. Now, Let's explore how to use adjustment layers with masks for more advanced editing techniques. Start by activating the Magic Wand tool from the Selection Tools. Once selected, the Select Subject option will appear on the Options bar. Choose the image layer you want to work with and then select the subject by clicking on the Subject option in the Options bar. The selection will be automatically created based on the subject in the image. Now. 
apply an adjustment layer of your choice, such as hue and saturation, curves, or color balance. Notice that the mask is automatically generated based on the selection, limiting the adjustments to the selected subject. Make adjustments to the selected subject by modifying the settings of the adjustment layer. For example, you can brighten, darken, add contrast, or alter colors to enhance the appearance of the subject. To recreate the selection based on the mask, hold the Ctrl or Command key and click on the mask icon. This will load the selection based on the mask, allowing you to use it for further editing or adjustments. Deleting or hiding layers is also possible in Photopea. To delete a layer, select the layer you want to remove and press the delete key. To hide the layer, simply click on the eye icon next to the layer in the layers panel. You can create a new adjustment layer to further modify the selected subject. Choose a different adjustment layer, such as curves, and adjust its settings to achieve the desired effect. If you want to copy a mask from one layer to another, press the Alt or Option key and drag the mask from one layer to another. The mask will be copied to the new layer, allowing you to apply the same masking. Select the copied mask and modify it as desired. This can include changing the color of the subject or making any other adjustments specific to the copied mask. And there you have it. Please! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our tutorials at edits101.com. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a good one.